is Richard and Drake. I'm going to show you a blind retrieve. We start using a fence uh, with some cover and we use the corner of the fence just to put the dog on one side of the fence while we're hiding the retrieve. Um, and this is for the blind retrieve and it's using a fence just reduces the directions the dog can go in directions the dog can go in but also as well it encourages the dog to go straight search out straight and that's really really helps you when you're out on a shoot okay so we're going to encourage the dog to follow us and get the dog out of the way into a sit or a down position and then we're going to hide the item and then ask the dog to go for it So you may have noticed that I put the dog in a down. I just don't want the dog to be able to peer over the fence, especially when it's a fence like this there that can see through. Um, and it also just helps with all the other training that you, you've been doing with your dog, hopefully. Place the item around 15 feet away into cover. And I'm gonna ask the dog to go and retrieve it, but I'm gonna ask the dog by adding a second cue or a second command. So I'm gonna say the dog's name and then I'm gonna send the dog out. And after I've said the dog's name, I'm gonna actually add the word, go back. And that will hopefully become a learnt behavior where it's, the dog starts to search for a, for a retrieve or an item, even though it might not have seen it being dropped. Okay, and it builds up the, the, the relationship with you, and your, uh, with you and your dog. Okay, so I'll bring the dog to me. So I'm going to say the dog's name, say go back and then push out and encourage him to go in a straight line and look for the green item in the cover. Straight clack. And as always when he comes back, loads of affection, make sure the dog's happy. And that's how you deal with blind retrieve.